Like a lot of people, I find it difficult to work up the motivation to exercise. But like everyone, I find moving quickly a lot easier when things are thrown at me, which is why dodgeball is such an excellent sport. <laughs> it's a good way to make friends. And it really is excellent fun for the whole family. Oh, oh adorable. <laughs> yes, dodgeball involves throwing, catching, and as the name suggests, dodging. If you're hit with a thrown ball, you're out. But if you manage to catch the ball, then the throw is out. But what's the science? Under gravity, the release height, angle and velocity of a thrown ball make it follow a predictable trajectory. To increase the chances of a hit, he brings his arm further back, providing higher launch velocity and giving the ball more momentum. And finally, Keeping the ball's parabolic trajectory as flat as possible will mean it has less distance to travel and so strike sooner. It all sounds very simple, but throwing's only half of dodgeball. The other half is, well, dodging. And you have to be able to do both if you want to be a champ. <laughs> nice! By building up angular momentum, this guy has vastly increased the ball's launch velocity. Uh, which is more than can be said about his friend at the back there, who looks like he's doing slow motion ballet badly. <laughs> now that is how you dodge ball. Despite releasing the ball after a backflip, he got the right height, angle and velocity for the perfect parabolic trajectory. Great flip. Let's see how this guy does. Oh dear. By spinning himself in the air, he created a moving target. Sadly, though, the ball still hit him, so he got knocked out. And knocked out at the same time. He did come round OK, but if you're thinking, how can I make this even more dangerous, then why not try it with the balls wrapped in sandpaper? Because that. Idiots or scientific innovators, history will be the judge. Although I know which side I come down on. Actually, let's save history a bit of time. This is clearly stupid and dangerous.